When we multiply by a thousand, we move the digits three place values to the left. So if we have three times a thousand, what we're really doing is moving the three, three places to the left. Then we write zeros in our empty hundreds, tens and units columns to get our answer 3000. Or with 42 times a thousand, again, we move the digits, write zeros in our empty hundreds, tens and units columns, and we have our answer 42,000. So when multiplying by a thousand, it's important to remember that what's really happening is that the digits are moving when not just putting three zeros on the end. And that's especially important to remember when multiplying decimals by a thousand. If we have 42.5 times a thousand, we move the digits three places to the left, and then we need to write zeros in our empty tens and units columns to get our answer 42,500. So what is 36.12 times a thousand? We move the digits three places. We now have an empty units column, so we write a zero so that our other place values are clear. And we have our answer, 36,120. Now, what is 40.135 times a thousand? We move the digits three places to the left. And because the decimal point is now at the end of our number, we have a whole number as our answer. So that's 40,135. And that answer makes sense. If we know that 40 times 1,000 is 40,000, 40.135 40 times 1,000 is going to be just a bit more than that. What is 4... 498.8 times a thousand. Three places to the left, zeros in empty place value columns, and we have 498,800. What is 673.13 times a thousand? Three places to the left, a zero in our empty units column, and we have 673,130. And finally, what is 851.205 times a thousand? Three places to the left, and we have 851,205.